Okay, ready guys? Mm -hmm. Those of you who are filming this, if you're not, if you want to just observe, you can. I want to look too. I don't want to be able to be here though. Okay guys, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start with the, now we're looking at the male reproductive system. In the male reproductive system, uh, one thing that stands out is the male copulatory organ, the penis. Now, in the penis you see here, there are several different important things. Let's take it out like this. You have, first of all, this cap here that's called the glans penis. Okay? And then you have this thing here. This is just a small portion of the prepus. This is, we're assuming that this has been a circumcised, a circumcised prepus. If it were an uncircumcised prepus, it would be much longer, like a sleeve covering the head of the penis. Okay? So there's the glans penis, the prepus, the body of the penis. We turn this slightly upward like this. Underneath, you have this portion here. Some of you were wondering what that is called. That's the frenulum, frenulum of the penis. However, it may not be on your list, but just for your own curiosity, that's the frenulum. Similar to what the frenulum under your tongue looks like. Okay, the frenulum. Now, let's open up the penis. Oh, by the way, external urethral orifice. External urethral orifice. Now let's open up the penis. Let's split it open in half. Cool, this bubble. <laughs> Gets stuck sometimes. Oh. There you go. Okay, this one is a newer one. So, uh, someone bring me very quickly an old penis while I explain this. Okay. Anyhow, you can see right here the external urethral orifice. Thank you. Here you have the urethra. This portion of the urethra is called the spongy or penile urethra because it's within the penis. And then here you have two different colored portions. Okay? Let's look at another model to see more clearly. This is much larger too. The urethra. Okay? Here this portion is called the, the uh, corpus spongiosum, this purple area. And this portion here that looks like it is segmented into different cavities. This is the corpus cavernosum. Corpus cavernosum. Okay, great. Now, I'll give you that back. So, we've removed the penis here, and now we can see the testes. Let's look at the testes now. The testes are located in here, in these uh, sacs right here. These sacs right here, all of this is the scrotum, the scrotum which consists mainly of skin. And in adult males, it will be covered with hair as well. So skin, this is the scrotum. Okay, the testes. The testes right here, the surface of it is covered by this tunica called tunica albuginia. See this white stuff here, that's tunica albuginia. And right here, you have a second layer, outer layer, called the tunica vaginalis. That's this tunica here that covers the rest of the outer portion of the testes, okay? Now, finally, the scrotum we said uh, is mainly skin, and you can see right here scrotum. Now, then, just above the testes, you see the epididymis. All of this is epididymis. Then here you have this ascendant portion, the vas deferens, and it comes up this way within the spermatic cord. So all of this is spermatic cord, but specifically this thing here is the vas deferens or ductus deferens. So all of this is spermatic cord. The spermatic cord comes up this way. It comes through the inguinal ligament. And then up here, th past the inguinal ligament, the vas deferens does separate. The vas deferens, see right here? It does separate from the other structures, and it goes individually alone on its own. Now, some of you were asking me, what about these things here? See, this looks like muscle there. This is muscle. It's called the cremasteric or cremaster muscle. This actually will elevate the testes. Okay? But it's not on the list. No, but anyhow, that is the cremasteric or cremaster muscle. All of this red lines here. Now, let's go back to where we left off with the vas deferens up here. Can we see the vas deferens over here? Yes. Can I please have the other half here? Thank you. Let me just stick that in quickly like this. Yeah, it, well, just for practical purposes, we'll put it like this. The vas deferens, it wraps around the bladder, the urinary bladder, 
And on the dorsal surface of the urinary bladder, the vas deferens does get wider into this portion here called the ampulla of the vas deferens. Now, this structure here is the seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle. The ampulla and the seminal vesicle ducts come together. You can also see that with this side of the model. The ampulla and the seminal vesicle come together into a short little duct here that goes right through the prostate gland called the ejaculatory duct. This is the ejaculatory duct. Now, so seminal vesicle, vas deferens, vas deferens, ampulla, ejaculatory duct. Now, this is the prostate gland, and this first portion of the male urethra is called the prostatic urethra. Okay? Prostatic urethra, because it's right around the prostate gland, okay, within the prostate gland. Let's open this up. We can also look at it here. Right here. You can see right here uh, a small part of the ejaculatory duct within the prostate gland, prostatic urethra. This is the urinary bladder, the internal urethral orifice, the internal urethral sphincter, prostate gland, prostatic urethra. And then we get to the next portion of the male urethra. It's a very short portion, just this portion here just at the level of the urogenital diaphragm. This is the urogenital diaphragm. This portion of the urethra is called membranous urethra in the male. Membranous urethra. Now in the membranous urethra, you find one other gland. We said prostate gland, we said seminal vesicle. The other gland is this little tiny bulb right there. This is called Cowper's gland, also known as bulbo-urethral gland. Bulbo-urethral gland. So the gland is actually, the Cowper's gland, or bulbo urethral gland, is found at the urogenital diaphragm level which corresponds to the membranous urethra. But the gland opens up its duct and empties its product into this portion of the urethra called the spongy or penile urethra. So the gland is found here, but the duct extends further downward and opens up right here into the spongy urethra. So therefore, this is part of the spongy urethra. Okay? Uh, I think for male reproductive system, that's pretty much it. Any questions? Oh, finally, the, uh, you do have the second sphincter, which is the external urethral sphincter located at the urogenital diaphragm, just like in the female, the external urethral sphincter. Yeah. That's it.